Hi, it's Jessica of Eat, Breathe, Move, Heal. And we are going to go over the breathe portion of the training for the Self-Healing for Entrepreneurs program. And this is just a quick overview so you guys can understand really where I'm coming from and understand how to delve into it. Again, I gave you a lot of information in this part, so some people can be overwhelmed by that. And when some people feel overwhelmed, they have resistance to beginning something. And the breathe part is really all about beginning new things and creating good habits. So I don't want you to have any resistance. I want you to really come from this from a place of joy and enjoy it and have fun with it because that's if you're not having fun with it or enjoying it, it's probably not going to stick. And we really need the consistency here and the commitment. So when you're looking for something to start with, look over all the strategies and techniques that I talk about and see which one jumps out to you. For example, you may want to start tapping if you're feeling really emotional, or you may want to start uh, the neurokinesis. Um, you may want to really try meditating, or if meditating seems like something you haven't been able to do in the past, uh, chanting mantras is something that is much easier for a lot of people than just meditating because it keeps their mind occupied. Whatever it is that you do, you need to start creating a consistent new habit each and every day. And that's what's going to give you the clarity and the focus to continue to grow your business and evolve and not take yourself down with it. So again, there's people who are able to grow their businesses, but they may neglect themselves. And, you know, we don't know if when people get sick, it's always from self-neglect, but we do know that a lot of times, yes, it's because people are overstressed. They've ignored their body for too long and they've sort of put it off in the back of their mind thinking that everything was going to be fine and just powered on. And when you are consistently creating good habits of really tapping into your own emotions and clearing them on a regular basis, that's not going to happen to you. So arguments that come up at work, uh, stressful situations you know, fights with somebody, uh, situations where you're not sure what the answer is, all of those things, you will be able to manage them a lot easier and they will happen less and less. Things just will run a lot smoother if you develop a consistent habit of doing things such as deep breathing, journaling, meditating, chanting, tapping, um, neurokinesis, all of these things together really help you clear yourself out energetically every single day. So they are the foundation of the breathe part of this training. And really our breath is, of course, you know, non-negotiable, the foundation of our life, right? So we must breathe well to live well. And often when I work with people who have been ill for a while, it's very obvious they don't know how to take a deep breath. So I have created a body scan meditation that is included uh, with this training. And I invite you to listen to it every single night before you go to bed to clear the negativity out of your body to clear yourself of tension and stress, and to be able to start each day fresh. So just listening to that meditation is a step in the right direction of good habits. You also want to try to pick something that I've listed on your tools as well. But moving forward, setting up good habits, putting yourself first, that's all going to really help. And it's not just going to help you be more clear and productive. It's also going to help you when it comes to those really uh, big challenges around eating. So, you know, a lot of times our eating is a social thing and we may be going out with our friends or 
our husband may want to have dinner uh, with us or our kids may want us to make a certain something. These all require us to be able to put ourselves first even while we're in the company of other people. And so that requires tools and techniques and the tools and techniques in the breed section are really great for that. So use them, study them, and be consistent. You know, it's not something that, you know, you are, you do one time. You have to keep it up every single day. And you get better and better and it gets easier and easier. And then what happens is if you don't do it, you feel like something's missing. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the breathe section. And I, I invite you to bring any questions to the group of Living Clean in 2015 and beyond. And I'm sorry my phone kept dinging, but uh, hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you soon.